We created an exhibit around wearable tech because we think it's an important part in our history right now. And that's why it's important to encapsulate that in an experience that is tangible and real and inspiring the next generation of people to think about what's possible. It's art, it's science, it's technology, it's fashion, it might be architecture or other kinds of design. And so I think having it here at MSI is perfect. Fashion has proven to be a transdisciplinary intersection point for technology and in design, unlike most other fields. I love that we all have a voice into manifesting a potential future. I think that it has the potential to impact our lives in lots of ways we are really only beginning to understand. It is really about the things that we can become or that we can do or that we can imagine as a result of being given access to technology or becoming a creator of that technology. We are highly interactive. We want people to explore and touch and feel and sense and that freedom to play and explore is at the heart of what wearable technology is right now. We put this together with 100 artifacts from 15 countries around the world and, and the inspiration for kids to see all these things is just a wonder. Yeah, we've been working with the entire museum. This is really a collaborative effort across all divisions and all departments to bring this to life. We are bringing new voices to the table. We're combining them in fresh ways, and I think it's producing work that is truly unlike things we've seen before. We work together to start with Blue Sky concept from what we really want to teach the guests about the exhibit, and we sketch and we research and we benchmark and we talk to the designers and experts in the field, and that helps us refine how we want to tell the story. It's an incredible opportunity for the museum to collaborate with outside partners because it allows us to really bring that creative experience to our guests in a very first-hand kind of way. The Wire to Wear exhibit was actually sort of artifact heavy, so to speak, which we haven't had before. And so we had to obtain a lot of loans from a lot of outside entities. And we really helped the collections department sort through those loan agreements and advise on any kind of requests that the lenders have made this time. We have fashion designers that are working with huge firms and coming together. Young kids are inventing things and it's an environment where an idea can come to fruition in a moment. I knew that I was very much fascinated by a color changing quality of hummingbirds. And from that point onwards, I was making prototypes, changing the design, and that was a very interesting journey. We had like a team of like 20 people sitting around hand stitching because there's a lot of craftsmanship in this. Like the past working together with the future. So now it's really taking the concept ideas, aligning those up against what is practical, what we can actually afford and build and how much time will it take and all those kinds of things. And then we're into fabrication. There's a lot of moving parts. You know, all of the different departments that are involved. We've kind of had a process in the past where it was like, okay, once everything was done, then it was like, okay, what IT stuff is needed? And this was like from the beginning. Here's what we're looking at. What kind of stuff do you think would even go with that? And how can we make it possible? And this is by the time when guest experience is engaged, trying to figure out what's the best way to talk about all of this stuff. One thing we know is that when people put an emotion with learning, they actually learn better. And so facilitators can help bring out that fun, bring out that humor. We take a program and we dissect it into a lot of different pieces. So we take the content. What is the specific science background or science pieces that facilitators need to know so that we can get across strong messages that leave guests feeling inspired. So the last portion of the project is really about making sure that the original design intent at the very, very beginning, you know, that we want to have this look, this feel, these materials, all of that comes together. What makes me proud of this exhibit is not the end result, it's the collaborative way in which we came together to make it happen. It's quite a nice validation that we're part of a wearables exhibition. 
So it's brilliant, it's very humbling to be part of this, this amazing display. I'm excited to see how female young generation would perceive this because I think it's very important for them to stretch their imagination. I think it's really cool to see all the other creators of all these cool technologies and designs. It's really inspiring and it's definitely making me think about like some technologies and how I could possibly use it in inventions that I might want to make. I'm excited by the notion that we're democratizing this technology. We are sort of embracing the maker movement and enabling people to actually build and design and create their own futures. It's like a mixture of lifelong scientists and, and inventors that have dedicated their time and, and their craft to this. And then you've got you know, 13, 14 year olds that are using their genius to create things that'll help. It's really cool, it's really inspiring. There are people from all different departments within the museum who contributed not only their expertise in their field, but also just their expertise as human beings. When I think about Royal Robert Tech, I think about the technologies that'll help advance us as society. And I really love the innovative approach to just kind of thinking about experiences for our families. And so that's what's really, really exciting. We're featuring so many new modern technologies and this really feels like the best place to host an exhibit that is so forward thinking and really looking at the future. We're standing in the middle of a pivot point and that's the turn toward the future. This really gives kids or really anyone who comes here a chance to see what the future is and what it could be. And I think that directly achieves that inspiration piece of our mission. We have always been interested in inspiring the inventive genius. I love the mission because it goes all the way back to the very beginning of who we are. We're challenging ourselves to deliver the mission in new ways, and I think that's what the world requires of us right now. Wired to Wear illustrates where MSI's future really lies, because it's at the forefront, it's at the precipice of these emerging technologies or these emerging subjects. And it really is in the very fabric, so to speak, of the museum, right? It really expresses everything about what the museum is doing and moving forward with a forward focus. Whether it's the 999, whether it is the Zephyr, the Wright Flyer, all of these things at their moment in time were incredibly important because they broke through. They did something that the world had never seen before. And that's what it's all about, ideas. The museum is founded on curiosity. And we sponsor and we support and we, we help make curiosity flourish.